Mikey Pipes. All right, going on another service call this Sunday morning. Another emergency. Figured out uh, get some content for maybe uh, Tuesday or Wednesday when I'm off. So we got a customer with a water heater. The pilot is out. He's got no hot water, and he's unable to light it. So let's see what's going on, and maybe this will be a very good instructional how-to video on how to relight your pilot. Stay tuned. You scared me. I don't know who scared me or you. Come on, jump, pussy cat. <laughs> All right, let's find this water heater. There it is. All right, left me a note. Mike, wife will be home soon. Call me with any problems. All right. We got this 50 gallon water heater. Looks like from 2017. It's kind of odd that they still have this older um, thermocouple gas valve. And I hear something. I hear a pilot. I'm hearing the pilot on the on the peerless boiler. Let's see. Looks like it broke the igniter. It normally goes right around there. Where it normally goes. All right, let's see what's going on. I snapped that back into place. Right now it's in the off position. I'm gonna put this to pilot. I'm gonna push down on the plunger. When I'm pushing down on the plunger, I'm holding open the pilot valve to allow gas to flow through this pilot tube, which then goes into the combustion chamber and connects to the pilot assembly. So when I push this down, I'm actually forcing the gas through. And now I want to push the piezo igniter several times until I see it spark down there. Let me see if I can do that for you. All right, I hit that once. And I don't know if you guys can see. Let me turn the camera off. All right, so there it is. And let's see if she stays lit. I'm gonna hold this down, this plunger down for a good minute, a good 60 seconds. And then we'll see if she holds. If she holds, great. If she doesn't, then we probably have a bad thermocouple, which is that one right there, center of the screen, which then goes into the combustion chamber. So let's see what happens after about a minute. All right, it's been about a minute. And she stayed lit. See that? She stayed lit. Must have had some wind. So now on the side of the water heater, there are lighting instructions. I highly advise that if your pilot is out to follow these steps, 13 steps from one to 13, follow them step by step. These instructions, they're written by well-paid attorneys. Why? For liability purposes. So if you follow these step by step, you're not gonna have any problem. Now, I know the water heater from 2017 makes this water heater four years old, right? I'm going to take it a step further, and I'm going to test the thermocouple. I'm going to test how, many, how much voltage we have coming out of this. So I'm going, to do, I'm going to go to my truck, get some tools, and we're going to test this next. I want to make sure we have good voltage here, and that I'm not going to come back on a service call, a recall, and see what's going on and, um, to come out here and replace it. So let's test this now, and to confirm the diagnosis of simply just relighting the pilot. What are you looking at, cat? What are you looking at? You scared me when I opened the door. All right, let's get head on upstairs. All right, I'm holding down the plunger. I have it to pilot. I'm gonna take a special wrench. This is 3 8 and 7 16 <clears throat> The 3 8 is for the thermocouple side. And the 7 16 will take off the the flare um the nut and ferrule on the pilot tubing. So I just loosened that up. Again, I'm holding down the pilot. And now I have this connection right here. I'm gonna try to do this one-handedly. Alright, I'm using my forearm right here. I'll show you guys what I'm doing. So I know you guys are hungry. Got the fo forearm right there to keep the pilot on. And I got one probe on the tubing. And the other one right there and I'm reading I'm reading 18 uh, I'm reading 18.8 millivolts on my voltmeter I got that right there as you can see but I can't show you both at the same time so it's fairly good I think I think we should be a little bit higher but 
she is working and just by simply relighting it worked I'm gonna reconnect the thermal couple like that let that go I'm gonna put it back to pilot or to on I'm sorry all right and that's how we tell so I had a little brain fart it's early in the morning, even though this is my second service call of the day. And I thought that the thermocouple uh, uh, millivolt voltage should be a little bit higher. So I went over to the Mikey Pipes WhatsApp group chat and I asked, brain fart, what should millivolt be on a thermocouple for water heater? And I got a response. Uh, you guys can't see it. Sorry. And I got a response, 20 to 30 millivolts. So preventatively to avoid a recall, I'm going to change out the thermocouple right now. All right, let's get it done. All right, here is the burner assembly, minus the burner, which got screwed right here. I removed the burner, I guess the main burner, like you see on a cooktop. I took that to two screws, the thermal couple, I cut in half. Where's the other half of it? Oh, where's the other half? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I cut that there. And some models have uh, like a fusible link right there, which would normally be here. This one didn't have it. So I was able to just put in one of those. And in a pinch, you can still put one of those in. Just keep in mind, you're not going to have that fusible link uh, safety there. Um, the reason why this one doesn't have it is because it has that there. This is kind of like a spill switch, right? It's resettable. Since it's too much temperature, it pops and prevents uh, operation. So I put that in. I'm going to feed it in through here, put the clip back on, mount the burner back, and screw it back in. All right, I lined up from bottom to top. That's the thermocouple, there's that wire for the piezo igniter, and there's the pilot tube. They all go in there nice and get held in by that retaining clip. And there's the thermocouple, and there's the pilot burner right next to it. That's where the, the gas comes out. So now I'm just gonna attach the main burner, and make sure the cabinet is pretty clean, which looks fairly decent. Put this back together and see what our millivolts are. All right, let's take a look inside this combustion chamber. See that thing dead center of the screen? All right, a little, little slot right there. The end of that right there is gonna go slide into that. So it's very important that we get that secured in the right position. Right, now I'm gonna use that other side of that wrench, right, the 7 16 side, and tighten up. Good. Now it's attached to the thermal cover. All right. My pilot is on. I tested 21 millivolts of that right before I reconnected it. I'm going to turn this to on. I'm going to fire it up. I'm going to leave her on. I'm going to leave her on A. Now clean up. All right. Hope you enjoyed that quick little video. If you did, I'd appreciate if you consider subscribing. If you are not a subscriber to the channel, hitting that thumbs up button and let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. And if you would like a free Mikey Pipe sticker, email me, Mike at MikeyPipes.com. I'll be glad to send that out to you. Details in the description box down below for other apparel, paraphernalia, things of that nature, swag. All right. Hope everyone has a wonderful and blessed day. Be well, take care, and God bless.